On September 9, 2017, people over 18 years of age and registered with the Australian Electoral Commission will vote for new mayors and new councillors. This election represents the local community. Local government, or councils, are the closest form of government to our homes. The next level is state, and the following level is federal. I spoke to a local candidate to find out what she wanted to see change. Yeah. They get to 18 when they can vote yes. and they think, how do I vote? Yeah. yeah, so it's definitely a lot of the feedback we're getting, people who are voting for the very first time and they didn't understand there was two ballot papers, you know, one for the mayoral and one for council. And, um, as for why I'm running, I have lived here for a couple of years and I think it's time for a fresh face, fresh team. I think a lot of people in this area are sick of seeing a fighting, in, in fighting and dysfunctional council and I thought, I want to put my hand up. Um, I saw that Ryan Palmer was running for mayor and I really was drawn to a lot of his beliefs and a fresh face and his plan to revitalise, particularly Nelson Bay CBD. And I thought that's a guy I can work with. And so it was a great opportunity to put my hand up and run in my own right because I believe that it's, there's certainly merit in running on your own ticket. And uh, the feedback's been really positive. So. Jamie went on to remind me that while our playgrounds have been upgraded in recent years, there has been a lack of safety measures incorporated, and so at the moment our playgrounds remain unsafe as they are back onto the waterways of Port Stephens unfenced, and in some cases they are very close to the seawall where there is a considerable drop. Jamie also told me of their plan to implement programs aimed at helping the youth in our community, and the long-awaited development of a connecting road. After reading through all the material given to me, I ventured inside the polling station. Firstly, I had my name checked off the roll, like your teachers do each morning, and I was given a mayoral election ballot paper and a council one. Then I walked over to the polling booths. They are really cardboard desks, all with their own pens. My instructions are to mark my most preferred candidate with a number one, and my next preferred candidate with a two. And the same goes for the council ballot paper. You can see at the bottom of the page that this paper is not to be taken outside of the polling station. Once I completed my ballot papers, I placed them in the appropriate ballot paper boxes, where they will eventually be counted to determine who will be elected as the new mayor and who will be elected to council. Mm -hmm.